everybody and today's video is another in the series of my top five so today I'm talking about my top five foundations that I have tried and tested and I've either repurchased or I've just been using it since like day one of trying it so I'm super excited so let's get started so I'm actually going to start with the foundation that I was one of the first ones I used so of course it was a drugstore and it is the Revlon Colorstay Makeup Foundation. This I am in shade 150 buff. So I actually use this because um, there's an American YouTuber called Tess who was talking about this for ages. I know she was sponsored by Revlon, but she was talking about it for ages. And so I went and bought it. The only problem I have with this, this is an old bottle. I believe they have a new bottle. The only problem is it is it's just a screw lid and you have to tip it onto your hand, onto the back of your hand. Um, I hate bottles like this, it's just so inconvenient. But this coverage is probably a medium, yeah, probably a medium coverage. Um, it is very, this is the normal to dry skin, so slightly dry skin. So this doesn't isn't cakey, isn't flaking off my skin. And it's just an all around. And then the other drugstore product, which I discovered, oh, honestly, maybe about four or five years ago. And I loved it that much that I actually still use it to this day. It is the makeup, the foundation I wear today. It is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and not the serum. The serum foundation, I did not like at all. But this, this is so good. Um, so this is the new bottle and it's, it's infused with a lot of vitamins. Um, let's see if it says what vitamins it has. Okay, it actually doesn't. <laughs> oh, it's a radiance reveal. So this on my skin just looks effortless, flawless. It is, um, I would say it's sheer to medium coverage. You could definitely go again. I do put concealer on as well with mine, so this isn't just foundation on my face. But this, it also says it's anti-fatigue, so it's supposed to help with the brightening up your skin, and I believe it does that. It covers my redness, it covers um, <laughs> dark eyes from when I've not had much sleep. And to be honest, it makes me look like I have a healthy glow. So I really like this one. I am in shade 51, so um, I believe that is actually... I don't think it will be the lightest shade anymore because it's not very really light because I'm not that pale but there must be more shades by now because I haven't had to repurchase this for a while because it seems to keep me going for quite a while. It's only supposed to be over for 12 months which it has probably been that so I probably need to repurchase another one. But this I believe is, is it 10 99 or 9 99 It's around the 10 mark. Um, so for £10 I absolutely love it and to be honest... I prefer it to my high-end foundations, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm actually going to start with the oldest ones of my high-end foundations. This is actually the first one I ever bought, and this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. So this was taught us about um, quite a few summers ago now, and everybody on YouTube was using it. It is, as it says, oh, I've been shade Birch 1.5. It is a tinted hydrating gel cream so it is a bit more of a creamy it's like a bit more moussey kind of texture not quite liquid foundation so you don't need very much of it and it gives you enough coverage just for the summer time it doesn't run off your face if you're sweating and i really like this um i actually probably need it again it actually says to apply it with fingertips but i can't think of anything worse it is built bold, of course, um, and I love it. So my fourth foundation is the is from NARS, and this is fairly new. This is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I, for reference, this is shade Vienna, which is my summertime colour from when I had a tan last summer. It is not my colour now, and I don't wear it at the moment because of that. I'm waiting for my holiday to get bronzed up. But I do want to repurchase this actually in um, my actual shade. I don't know what shade I will be now, but I do want to repurchase this because this I love. It is a medium coverage. Everyone says it's like shade to medium. I think it's more medium coverage. Um, 
but it, it just makes me, like it says in the name, natural radiant. It doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, so that's what you want in the foundation. But it does make my skin um, look like it has a healthy glow. Because like I keep saying, all these foundations, that's what I need because I have quite dry skin. If not moisturised, and especially in like winter time. I felt super fancy when I bought this because I mean, the packaging is just a dream. Into I love Nars packaging. It just looks so much more like sophisticated than... To be honest, it looks so much more sophisticated than this, for one. <laughs> Okay, and my latest foundation purchase is <laughs> the MAC Face and Body Foundation. So I've recently purchased this after everyone talks about it, but I have had a MAC foundation before and it completely broke me out. Um, so I was really scared to try foundations again from MAC. But this I actually bought through ASOS, so I actually did the research myself for what... Um, cut shade out be so I went for C1 so, uh, the one is the lightest number and they have the C and the N C is um, better coverage for red undertones so obviously I get quite a bit of redness so this is great so this is a sheer coverage um, it is to be honest it's, I was gonna say it's quite similar to the complexion rescue but it's not because it's smooth and this is liquid um, but in terms of they're both sheer and they're both there for summertime. So I can't wait to be using this more when it gets to summertime because this it is like a sheer coverage. So when I have spots or anything I want to cover up, I do have to use concealer. I have to use concealer, like it's not just just a bit more extra. You need to use it. Um yeah, the only other thing again, what is this? I hate not having a pump. At least this one is a little squirty thing, so literally you just I accidentally get way too much because you literally just squirt it onto your finger. And this is the perfect match for me. Like I said, I had to research, I went on Pinterest, looked at all the swatches. Um, yeah, and I looked at YouTubers as well, YouTubers who have the same kind of complexion as me. So I feel like Anna from the Anna Edit, she does, um, kind of the same skin tone colour. So I go for whatever she kind of goes for. And she's... Um, in the previous past I talked about being a C1 so that's why I went for this one and it is spot on for what I need um, this will be really nice as well when it does get to summer time and you don't you want <laughs> you want the coverage but you're worried about it looking too cakey especially when you start to sweat it off um, I think this would be a good one to touch up with as well later on during the day I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for a brand new video bye